Wendell Carter Jr. has taken summer league by storm. So just how good can the Bulls first round draft pick be? What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video. Talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about the Bulls. And if you guys have not uh, seen my video about the Bulls' latest signing of Jabari Parker, go ahead and do that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for everything Bulls related. Today, talking about the Bulls' first round draft pick from this year, Wendell Carter Jr. I meant to get around to this uh, a while back, but you know, I just wanted to wait and see, and I did not want to overreact. And now I feel like it's the right time to talk about it because Wendell Carter Jr. has been tearing it up, okay? In the summer league, averaging just about 17 points, 8 rebounds, 2.8 blocks a game. Folks, even when the Bulls drafted Wendell Carter Jr., myself included, and everybody else was saying that it was a good pick, solid pick, but we didn't think it was a, a great upside pick, you know? And I get it. A lot of people thought, you know, he was overshadowed by Marvin Bagley and he really didn't get a shot to shine. But now, when you take a look at what he has done in Summer League, man, this kid is special, okay? And I do not want to use that word lightly, just overreacting off a couple of Summer League games because, like I said, I didn't want to make this video right after the first game. But we've seen this consistently now for a few games. And with Wendell Carter Jr., the thing you love the most, it's not even the numbers, of course, that's great. But his game is perfect for the modern NBA, okay? He can, he's a, he's a rim protector. He can shoot the ball. He can guard um, guys off the pick and roll. You can switch him with just about anybody. If you watch in the summer league, the Bulls were willing to let him switch on to any guard, and he was able to stay and keep his own, okay? And that's what you love about him because he can literally do everything you have guys in the NBA today who can put up big numbers I'll take for example like a guy like Enos Kanter but you know he's a revolving door on defense so Wendell Carter Jr. will give you everything and more and that's what I love about him okay and on a team now that like I mentioned just signed Jabari Parker and you've got guys like Zach Levine, Jabari Parker, and even Laurie Markkanen, who are not the greatest defender, you're going to need Wendell Carter Jr., who is a serious rim protector, folks. And that's the other thing I want to talk about, the shot-blocking ability, because you have an elite, elite rim protector. Now, again, could I be overreacting, and could you know the NBA game be a little too much for Wendell Carter Jr.? Do I expect him to average 17-8 and 8 right off the bat? No, maybe that's too much to expect, but I do think I like my chances of him panning out just based off of what I've seen. Like I said, I like the size, I like the mobility, I like the fact that his game suits the modern NBA, and like I said, with the Bulls and sort of the lack of defenders that we have from 2 to 4 in our positions... Uh, we need Wendell Carter Jr. to be a rim protector. So um, I love the upside there. And if anything, you don't even need him to score the ball, even though he can. You just need him to defend, okay? And let's talk about pro, pro player comparisons because when he got drafted, um, I said that the comparison that a lot of people have talked about and that I did see as a good sort of comparison was Al Horford, okay? Al Horford is a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, his numbers don't blow you off the charts, but... There's no real weakness. He's not elite at anything, but there's no real weakness. The thing with Wendell Carter Jr. is I do think Al Horford is still a very good comparison for him, but I think he can become an elite, elite shot blocker, and that's not something you can say about Al Horford. So maybe maybe a Rudy Gobert with more upside on the offensive side of the ball, something like that. Maybe a Mark Gasol, if you will. I know maybe I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure on Wendell Carter Jr., but I really believe in his abilities. Folks, this might be... When it's all said and done, he might be the best big man in the draft. Um, I need the Bulls brass and their front office to stop playing around and start this kid right away. I don't care that he's 19. I don't care that he's going to have some growing pains. I don't want to see Robin Lopez. I don't know what the hell they were thinking giving Cristiano Felicio that uh, atrocious contract a few years back. Start Wendell Carter Jr., don't look back. I think he's going to be very, very good in this league. And I think he's going to be a perfect fit for the modern NBA. So let me know what you guys think about Wendell Carter Jr. I think he is going to be special. I could see all-star in a few seasons, folks. Like I said, a Rudy Gobert with more offensive game. Maybe a Marc Gasol, Al Horford in that range, if you will. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you guys agree or disagree with me. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.